through some of the steps I take to design custom stuff like these replacement shower hooks. First thing I'll do is take some baseline measurements from the shower rod and old hooks and put them in a drawing. Next I'll open Fusion 360 to a new project with a new component and give it a name. Then I'll find the origin of that component and start a sketch on its bottom plane. Sketching for me usually starts as a series of rectangles, circles, or lines, all with relationships to one another. These relationships in Fusion are called constraints and they tell the geometry how to behave. For example, if I want these two lines to be the same, I'll first use the equal constraint to set them equal, then I'll set their length using a dimension. Another really useful constraint is the midpoint constraint, which I use quite often, and it'll calculate the middle of a line for you. The reason constraint and dimensions are so powerful is that they make everything simpler and easy to edit. The last step is taking my 2D sketch and bringing it into 3D. So I'll finish the sketch and then I'll bring up the extrude menu. I'm gonna choose this section here and give it a reasonable height for 3D printing. Finally, I get to choose 3D print from the file menu, select the model and save it to my computer. Now all I have to do is 3D print the part to get a test hook to see how everything works before I print the rest. Drop a comment with your best Fusion 360 advice and let me know how I did.